All right, what's good, man? I want to talk about this post that was put up by Rap House TV on Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty is currently, uh, I want to say he's awaiting sentence, and he he's he put a he got a plea deal in where he like wasn't supposed to get any time exceeding like ninety seven months. That's around like eight years. A lot of people are saying that he may only do a couple years or, you know, he may be getting out next year or something like that. I'm not sure about that at this particular time. But as you can see what I have up, Rap House TV captioned this by saying that the uh, feds released names as well as social media profiles of alleged members of Pooh Shiesty's crew. Along with that, um, it appears to be messages from a group chat. Uh, and he also goes on to say, safe to say that they were actively investigating choppers, the choppers and uh, the Memphis social media streets. Now, Pooh Shiesty's team, and it's another it's another team in, um, in, in Memphis that, you know, they've been going back and forth with each other for quite some time in the streets. So, you know, that's something that's been known on social media as well as, you know, the the them people know about it. Um, e, EBG, you know what I mean. Uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube. You can go and find out how that. I mean, uh, according to YouTube, how you know that particular rivalry started. But they on high alert about both of these crews, and uh, especially Pooh Shiesty's. You know what I mean. Uh, apparently, Pooh Shiesty and the Choppers was spinning. In Memphis. Now, you know, a lot of the stuff that they have in this documentation took place back in 2019. Now, this was a message from one of the individuals. Well, let me go back to the to here so we can get this going. This is a uh, slimy little dude. Now, little dude uh, was known. I, he was posting even that he had them yurts for 25 um, on facebook and i didn't see a lot of this man i always wonder why people thought that it was cool to like publicizing your story or you know what i mean that you got this to go let me tell y'all something about your story just because it disappears in 24 hours on your profile doesn't mean it disappeared from uh the social media site's entire do i want to say database or whatever it doesn't mean that they're not able to pull it back up i had a video that I accidentally deleted on uh, YouTube that I was able to contact YouTube and give them the name of the video and how long it was and all of that. And they actually brought the video back for me, you know? So this definitely is possible. Now, with that being said, uh, you know, they, they got a screenshot of that from his story as well as they got these messages. Now, this is a Facebook private message from september of 2019 and you know basically everybody who was in this group their name as their username is in here now i'm pretty sure they've been able to identify some of these people some of these people their usernames is their real government names um and it has an entire text message in here saying um basically i guess slimy little dude was feeling some type of way about some of the people who might be in the chopper crew um who might not have been about you know spinning you feel what i'm saying who might not have been about that tuli play he told them and i'm not gonna read it verbatim but he told them basically everybody ain't about that and he just wanted them to face that everybody is fit for something though and if you know what you fit for find your position and stick to it that was the advice that slimy little dude gave the rest of the choppers. Now, in this next slide that Rap TV, Rap House TV has up. You know, I mean, if y'all got pacer, y'all can go get this stuff. I'm lazy. Anyway, now these are messages from Lontrell Williams, aka Pooh Shiesty. Now, I don't know if Pooh Shiesty was communicating with just one person, or if this is two people. I don't know if uh, Hank Rowe. And James Bonds is the same person or not? I don't know. All I know is they have the entire message that he was sending them. Now, we'll begin with the last one because the, the dates go up and set it down. But uh, May 6, 2019, 
Pooh Shiesty sends out a message that says we need a meeting. It just got real. Or it just got serious. Um, May 8th, 2019, he said meeting Saturday. May 29th, 2019, Pooh Shiesty would say we got to have a real meeting today. Now, what they having all these meetings about? On May 31st, 2019, Pooh sends a message to the same people. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I, I don't, I, I really don't want to like say, let's, this is, you know, he's sending these to people and this to people and they get, listen, I'm just giving y'all what the feds put out there. He said, if ends want the location of where we meeting, they got a call. So at this point, you're taking some type of, you know, I'm going to be a little precautious about putting the location in the meeting, but just know that we got a meeting today. Now, you know, I really feel like Pusha I see them should know better. Like, I don't, I, I don't know, like, who, like, I think a lot of the street activity and individuals, I think a lot of that, like the, the, the OGs, like the people who knew about, like, listen, you don't talk on the phone. You don't do this. Even though some of them old heads was talking on the phone, too, because a lot of them caught cases behind talking on the phone, texting and, and paging and all of that. You know, so I'm going all. If I said paging, I'm going all the way back. So the old heads was catching cases, too. But you had a lot of polished old heads who had went down, did time in the feds, came home and told the young cats out there, like, listen, don't be talking on them phones. Don't be doing this. I remember a time where we didn't even take pictures. Like, you know how people take like pictures is a thing now. Pictures with money. You know, people doing a money fan. And I ain't just talking about rap cats. I'm talking about like street people doing money fans and showing all this money online. Taking pictures of your cars online. All of this crazy stuff. Like, listen, this is all really for real relevantly new. Like, to me. I'm going to just put it like that. To me. Um, th those was definite no nos. You know what I mean. So a lot of the stuff that's going on, man, these people is getting themselves in these situations, and it all could be avoided if you take a little precaution and, and you don't do some of the things that you're doing. Now, I'm not the sharpest pencil in the box, but I definitely don't think that we should be talking about having meetings. Um, talking about who may be this and who ain't that and tagging the whole entourage and the whole crew in a group message knowing we got a whole active situation with old buddy them a couple blocks away you know what i mean we actively getting down i mean listen there's been situations where people from both sides of this particular situation then got knocked down and they no longer here again it's highly documented I'm going to say this one more time. It's highly documented that Pooh Shiesty and his crew has an ongoing uh, situation with EBG. I'm not telling y'all nothing that the, the, po the, the 12 don't already know. I'm not telling y'all nothing that social media ain't already said. I'm not telling y'all nothing that Pooh Shiesty or EBG Jizzle ain't said they self on social media. With that being said, man, listen, it ain't no excuse for us to be online. I don't care if it was 2017, before the fame, talking about politics, man, and, and discussing businesses and business, posting that we got them yurts, talking about who is this and play your position, man, come on. So whatever comes out of this, right? Whatever comes out of this, this ain't got nothing to do with, you know, these this documentation. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody uh turning on them. This ain't got nobody this ain't got nothing to do with no ratatouille. This is people actually doing this to they self. You gotta be smarter than this, man. These people is giving that listen, we call it Buck Rogers time. They just told your boy ninety seven months. Listen, I don't it ain't it ain't that L that they was offering him. In the beginning. But eight years is a long time. Just think about how old you is now. And how old you'll be in eight years, right? But then minus eight years from how old you are today. And think about how young you was eight years ago. Come on, man. Like, listen. I done did time. I don't know about nobody else. 
I done did time. That listen. No. We ain't doing this. We're not talking about nothing on Facebook at all. Like, I ain't telling you, listen, handle your business how you got to handle it, but be smart because they got a place for people who ain't smart. They got a place for you. They got a place for you. And I'm pretty sure you got a couple of homeboys there that need a couple of dollars right this moment. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm Amadi the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe and click that notification bell. So you get notified each and every time I upload new content.